So chin-ups are another classic calisthenics strength builder. For this version we're gonna be working on today, we're gonna to be focusing on a slight extension through the thoracic spine and retracting the scapula as much as possible. You may see variations of chin-ups and pull-ups where you see people starting to internally rotate and really kind of popping their lats and actually curving the opposite way through the spine or flexing the spine forward. That typically happens when you start to get fatigued or you just don't have very good form. Uh, the exception to that is if you're working specifically towards skills like the muscle up where that internal rotation and spinal flexion is actually required. But for this one, we're focused on developing as much strength and overall development in the upper back, the lats, the rhomboids, the traps, rear delts, biceps, all of that good stuff. We're focusing on overall development as much as possible, good control and good scapular activation here. In that case, we want a little bit of extension through the thoracic and retraction of the shoulder blades when we're doing our chin-ups. Okay, I'm also gonna show you two variations. If you haven't gotten towards a full chin-up yet, I'm gonna talk about eccentric repetitions to help you build up the strength necessary to get you doing your first full chin-up reps, okay? But to kick things off, we're just gonna start with standard chin-ups, okay? You're gonna grip the bar about shoulder width distance with your palms facing towards you when you wrap your hands around, okay? So you got a supinated grip here where the inside of your for forearm faces you it's going to get a bit more bicep activation as well and help you retract the shoulder blades. So we're going to start from a dead hang for these. So that means your shoulders are up towards your ears. The first step is to activate your scaps. So if you haven't practiced your scap pull-ups yet, those are really important to start really solidifying good chin-ups and pull-ups. Okay. So the first step is to activate the scaps and drive your shoulders down away from your ears. Next, pointing the chest up towards the bar, getting that slight thoracic extension. And then we're pulling with the arms, tapping the bar with the chest, lowering down with control, and then releasing the scapula. Again, activating scaps, chest up, pulling towards the bar, tapping, lowering back down with control, releasing. One last rep. Okay, so on and so forth. As usual, basic strength recommendations, three or four sets, eight to 12 repetitions. Start on the lower end, work to the higher end, increase your volume over time. You will get stronger overall. You will see muscle mass gains. You will get better at this movement. Um, if you haven't gotten a chin up yet, then what we're gonna be doing is using eccentric repetitions, okay? All that means is focusing on the lowering phase from the bar down to the ground and then jumping back up and going again, okay? So if you are at home, you might be using rings, you might be using a bar, whatever it is that you're using, make sure that your bar is only so high that you can comfortably jump up and get your chin over the bar at least or getting the bar even closer to your chest if possible, okay? So I'm gonna set up my grip. I'm gonna jump to the top, hold here for a brief moment, and then I'm going to slowly lower down, making sure that I'm keeping my spine extended through the thoracic, my chest is pointing up, my scapula are tight and engaged, and I don't actually release my scapula into my full dead hang until the bottom, okay? Putting my feet back down on the ground, jumping up to the top, holding with my chin over the bar briefly, and then slowly lowering down, keeping my scapula as tight as possible, and only releasing when I get to the bottom, okay? You want these repetitions to last between six and eight seconds, ideally. If you can't get at least a five second repetition coming all the way down, you're probably gonna want to regress and focus on exercises like uh, body rows or scapular rows, okay? Also scapula pull-ups, as I already mentioned, are gonna be really, really crucial for this one. One more time, I'll show you eccentric repetitions with the timing or the rep speed that is appropriate to get the right time under tension so you've got enough volume to build strength and get towards your first full rep. Jumping to the top, chin over, 
on the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Each one of your reps want to be around six to eight seconds, ideally five at the minimum, okay? Go for three reps per set. So let's say you can get eight second reps, eight second eccentric reps, then you wanna be doing three to four sets, maybe even all the way up to five, three sets, or sorry, three reps by eight seconds each, okay? If you do that with enough frequency, whether you're doing full reps or you are doing just eccentric repetitions, you will build strength, you will build size, and you will get much better at this movement, okay? Those are your chin-ups. I hope you enjoyed the demo and wishing you well.